Hello and welcome all to BL6 Management Accounting Lecture Series for July and September exams. So I'm your facilitator, Hashan Vaduge. Right, so why I'm telling you July and September? Because CASL has already announced there will be an exam in July. So basically for business level 1 and 2, there are exams in 3 months. So after 3 months, you will be having another exam. But this was announced before the coronavirus, this pandemic situation happened. So we don't know whether the July exam will happen or not. So if it is cancelled, the July exam students can watch our videos till the September exams. And if the student is purchased in the September course, so which means definitely they can watch till the examination. Uh, now let's say unfortunately if the September exam also postponed, so you can watch those videos till the new exam date. So up to now, March exam also postponed, but now we are starting lecturing for the next exams. So what I'm going to do here, to give a basic understanding of the subject and how your paper will be and how we are going to tackle this in these few months. So as you know, BL6 is the management accounting which is the actually sixth subject in your CA curriculum. So in, after you are done with the business level one, you will be eligible to do the same pillar subject. So if you are done with BL2, you can do the BL6. So in pillar wise, you can do subject. So this BL6 management accounting, this is the first time you are learning management accounting in your CA curriculum because you have already learned mathematics, business mathematics and that knowledge also will be helpful for you to do the calculations in this examination. So as you are aware, Business level 1 and 2 exams are held as which kind of exams? OTQs. OTQs exams. What is this OTQs? OTQs in the sense objective test questions. Objective test questions. What is objective test questions? Is this not MCQs? No, this is MCQs also part of objective test questions. So other than the MCQs, this has, let's say MCQs and uh, fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks, matching questions. So likewise, those short answering questions can be asked in your examination. But as you see the pilot paper, if you see the pilot paper, Pilot paper in BL6, there are 50 questions, so all 50 questions are MCQs. But it's good we can if we can prepare for the OTQs, which means the other types of the fill in the blanks, uh, short answering, matching questions, such as. So as you know, your exam paper will have two hours. The examination paper, examination paper will have two hours, two hours. So basically this has 50 questions, 50 questions, mostly those are consisted of MCQ type questions. So which means if you are having two hours, if you are having 50 questions, so you will have a small time to answer one question. So which means this is 120 minutes. So 120 minutes divided by 50 that is 2.4. So 2.4 minutes, 2.4 minutes will be the time that is allocated for you to answer one question. Now this July and September examination will be which kind of examination? That is a Computer-based examination, computer-based examination as informed by CA Sri Lanka. So we don't know whether this will be changed in future, but as, as at now, as of now, this will be a 
computer based examination but the march exam is a paper based examination so this is the paper what is your target is to answer for 50 questions within 2 hours so you may have to allocate 2.4 4 minutes per question and this is a computer based examination so you may have to practice for computer based examinations also so after that you need how many marks to pass the exam you need to have 50 percent marks to pass the exam if you need the price maybe now in this case maybe you need 100 percent mark because these are mcqs or otqs maybe more than 95 percent right so now can you do this in single medium only single medium examinations will be available till september so after september all are in english medium and these single medium also can be attempted if you are registered in CA Sri Lanka before 2019 December. So actually why we are persuading you to do in English medium, the reason is, now if you go for the next level, the everything will be in English medium. So if you learn this level in English medium, because those are MCQs. So when you have MCQs, you can read the question, you can read the answers not like essay types so you don't need to think and answer so when you don't need to think and answer when you have four answers it is easy for you to identify or understand the question even that is in english medium so if you understand if you learn if you are getting ready for this when you come for the next level that will be easy for you right so before going for our lesson coverage we'll look at what kind of lessons you have to complete to progress for the examination so if you if you need you can do five to six lessons and uh, progress to the examination but in our case we will be completing the full syllabus all the topics and make you ready for the examination and maybe uh, after doing mcq's question we are going to I, I will i will explain that our plan so the first chapter so actually this uh, the module this uh, subject has been divided into five sections those are called cost accounting so we'll write cost accounting this is part one past part one cost accounting so this includes Basically, if you come for the management account the first time, so this is the first time you are learning, you have to understand what is this management accounting. So in this case, you have to learn a topic called introduction to management accounting, introduction to MA, I would say. So this says how management accounting has been evolved with the past and what are the changes, what is actually management accounting, what they are doing, the benefits, the drawbacks, like right, there are be top theory included in this chapter so after you are learning the introduction to management accounting you have to understand the different type of costs so cost classification is the second topic so in this case you will identify what is mean by the variable cost what is the fixed cost and what is the semi fixed cost the step up cost so how the uh, cost will be changing the high and low method likewise number of basic concepts basic understanding before going for big topics you will be learning under cost classification the next one you are having labor cost labor cost labor cost so what is labor cost the what you are paying to the labors employees so in labor cost you will be learning so how the labor cost will be allocated and what the types of labor cost and all so this is basically a small lesson so when you done with the labor cost you have to actually the inventory control inventory lesson is in the working capital management but i am doing this after labor cost or before labor cost so inventory control so we, we would say this is cost accounting and working capital inventory control inventory control so in so now you know labor then you have to understand inventory so basically material inventory so the, how the inventories will be uh, taking into the accounts and how the inventories can be measured 
the EOQ methods and likewise there are a different number of things you have to learn with regard to inventory control the next one now you know inventory you know labor then you have to know overhead cost overhead cost overhead cost so in the overhead cost overhead means the cost the indirect cost basically uh, let's say rent the uh, rent the depreciation likewise so there are a number of overhead costs so you have to learn that so you have to know how these costs will be allocated i think these parts have been already learned in your advanced level examination also but you may be a student who has done biology who has done combined maths mathematics or arts for whatever so we have to teach this from the beginning so that's why we are doing all these lessons also so then after that now you know the labor cost you know the inventory which means the materials or overhead so now you can understand how the product how the product cost will be consist so all these when you get all these so this is the cost of a product so if you know the cost of a product as a management accountant what you have to then learn you have to learn how to do the pricing so you know the cost then the next topic will be pricing so you know the cost okay how we are going to do the pricing the markup pricing the margin pricing so there are different techniques which you need to learn right so after that there are a few topics that you have to learn so i will uh, i will uh, take integrating accounting at later so better will better will remove this heading so introduction to management accounting to pricing then you have something called job costing batch costing contract costing and service costing and service costing so there are different types of costing methods the job job is for one one activity like we are doing a class the job costing per class and the batch costing let's say we are producing in a batch so 500 t-shirts like that so the cost of calculating a batch cost and the contract it can be a contract between one party to another so how to calculate the cost of that and the service it can be a service so how to calculate the cost of that service then we are coming to one of the important lessons in your syllabus that is process costing that is process costing so in process costing what you will be learning so process costing is like when your production go through a process so let's say you are manufacturing petrol diesel and everything through one process so after that one point you are dividing these into different type of products so when you do that how to calculate the cost of each production each product the petrol cost of the petrol the cost of the diesel likewise so how to do that this is a process costing so you have to learn number of things in this case you have to learn about the fifo method you have to learn about the back method you have to learn the equivalent cost uh, equivalent unit statements you have to learn how to value the closing work in progress you have to learn about how to record this in ledger accounts and you have to learn about the next one after doing process costing you will be have to learn joint production the by production so this is a massive lesson after you are learning small small these lollipop lessons so after that you will be having a massive lesson so this we may have to uh, where i mean utilize more times and in your examination point of view also this is a major topic so after process costing we will be going to so sometimes if when i'm doing so i can do this later one lesson earlier that can be happen but make sure i will be doing in a manner that you can understand now let's say if i am doing all these and after that introduction to management no point no definitely i have to start with introduction to management right 
because we how to do the lesson subject without giving you an understanding about the subject the introduction about the subject is necessary so i will be doing this in a manner that you can understand so then after process costing it will be marginal <coughs> marginal and absorption costing absorption costing so in marginal costing you have to learn about how to calculate the contribution uh, how to calculate the break even likewise and also when you come for the absorption costing you will have to learn the difference between the value in the inventory based on marginal costing and based on the absorption costing so it will be depend based on the fixed cost so that you will be learn after done with this lesson and may make sure this marginal costing concept is needed for you to do the questions in the next level also that is in cl3 advanced management accounting level because in the advanced management accounting subject you will be having multi product decision making so when you come for the multi product decision making no one is there to teach you about the marginal costing anyway we will be doing some basic concept understanding but not we are going for a deep analysis like we are doing in bl6 so you need to be thorough with that knowledge because that will be necessary for you to do the questions in the next level then so after that done, done with this so i will come for this section so we are having two of the biggest lessons in your syllabus the first one is standard costing standard costing and variance analysis variance analysis so here we have to learn how the costing can be done in a standardized environment how now let's say time to time we are not going to change the cost so standard cost standard product cost of this is this much standard material cost of this is this much standard labor cost of this is this much so likewise we are having a standard so if the cost is changing for the standards the actual cost is changing for the standard that we are analyzing through the variance analysis so if there is a uh, positive variance we are telling as a favorable variance if there is a negative variance we are telling as an adverse variance so if you are a double ad student i think most of the lessons are okay for you but don't underestimate this paper because paper will be difficult than the ability examination so in the variance analysis so why this is important this you will be having number of questions from this and this variance analysis the same things you are learning now also will be there in cl3 advanced management accounting in addition that you will be having some advanced variances also so in this case you will be learning the material variances the price and the quantity then the labor variances the variable overhead variances fixed overhead and the sales variances so after that we will be going to budgeting budgeting now these two are massive lessons budgeting so what is budgeting this you haven't learned in anywhere maybe double eight student have done budgeting i mean not in a levels so budgeting means in the parliament our ministers are doing that is budgeting no budget ta kadanne but anyway they are doing uh, they are discussing about the budget so in budgeting you will be learning okay in within next year how we are going to do the production how much of material you need to do the those production how much of labor you need so if the material is this much how much you have to maintain as a stock and if this kind of stock is needed how much you have to purchase and if this is the material if this is the labor how about the overhead and all of these are like this how about the cash spending how much we are going to spend in next month or the next month or how much we are going to receive in the next month or in the next quarter or in the next year so those budgets you have to learn the production budget the usage budgets the labor budgets and the cash budgets and also 
forecasted financial statement. So there are a number of things you have to learn here. But the thing is, the way the Chartered Institute, the examiner is asking questions is not that easy. So you have to identify those exam techniques, how normally the examiner is thinking, the pattern, the way of asking the questions by practicing the questions, not only understanding theory, but also practicing the questions. So after budgeting, you will be having the decision making part. In that case, you will be learning short term decision making, short term decision making, as well as the long term decision making, long term decision making. So in short term decision making, you will be learning how you are going to uh, take the decisions in the long run, so in the short run. So it can be based on the relevant cost, based on the relevant material cost, the labor cost. And also there are uh, specific costing, I mean the specific short term decisions. So let's say make or buy, whether you are going to make this or buy from outside. So that is a kind of a short term decision. And if you are going to close down the operation, if you are going to outsource, and I mean there are a number of short term decisions that you have to take in this lesson. So this is directly, I mean, relating to the marginal costing aspect also. So you, after you are done with the marginal costing basics, you can learn the short term decision making. So after you are done with short term decision making, you will be coming to long term. So how to take decisions in the long run when you become a chartered accountant, when you become a CEO, when you become a CFO, you will be a decision maker for the whole con whole entity. So in that case, you are not going to take a small kind of decision whether you are going to buy your uh, make, whether we are going to outsource. Those are the decisions you will be taking by the operation level people. But you will be the one who is taking, ah, whether we are going to take this project, are we going to have a new building? Are we going to have a new outlet in foreign? Uh, in a foreign country. So likewise, long term decision which will be affecting for number of years. That will be done through long term decision making. So you have such uh, methods like NPV, the project appraisals. This may, this may have learned in A-levels as well. And the payback method that is also done in A-levels maybe. So ARR, accounting rate of return. But don't worry, we will be doing this. We will be doing this again. So after you are done with long, now these two also big topics like this, I will, I will highlight the big topics after doing this. Then you have a something called risk and uncertainty. Risk and uncertainty. So I would say this is kind of a mathematic lesson. Maybe you have done something in BL2 level also. The standard deviation, the variance, the coefficient, correlation, and uh, like decision rules, let's say de decision trees, decision trees not up to a, I mean a complex level, but in a basic level, decision tree, how, to, how you are going to get a decision based on the decision trees, based on the decision, the activity and all. And also you will have alternative decision rules such as maximin, minimax rules, likewise. So this is basically a maths plus management accounting lesson. In the decision trees and all, you will be having the management accounting part, but for the like standard deviation, variance and all, those are coming from the mathematics. So don't worry, even though you have done this in BL2 level, we will be doing. I know that you will forget everything after you are doing the examination. So after you are done with the examination, examination I know that so that is okay we will be doing this from the beginning so after that the syllabus is done so see as I have highlighted the process costing process costing lesson will be a big lesson and also standard costing and variance analysis the budgeting lesson short term decision making long term decision making so i would say these five lessons are the biggest or largest or mostly tested lessons in your syllabus in your examinations 
uh, maybe the fast curriculum the previous curriculum and also uh, in the next curriculum so I, I'm targeting for the March examination also they will be testing for this maybe you will be watching this video after March examination so maybe you can go back to the March examination paper and see whether I am correct okay so in this case what we have to do is I am going to focus more on these areas more on the big topics so it doesn't say that I am not going to do this I will be doing all this I will be doing but after that I will be emphasizing more on this right I forgot one lesson that is integrated accounting because I told I will do that I will tell that in later so that is integrated accounting integrated accounting this is not a huge lesson this is a small lesson so in this you will be learning how the cost management the cost accounting will be linked with the financial accounting the statements how to record for the labor the material the overhead and all so this is kind of a small lesson so now you can get an idea so why i'm telling why i'm showing you the syllabus the lessons in the beginning because then only you can complain to me so you haven't done this lesson you told you promise in the beginning you will be done this, you are going to do this lesson but now you haven't done so then only you can complain then only you can see whether we are going to finish up all the syllabus areas if not i would select rather some of the topics and when the exam is near i will be telling okay the syllabus is done but you don't have any idea whether i have done the syllabus or not so at the examination if the examiner is asking question from another topic you will be blaming to me so now you know you have a progress you can write this down in a paper and you can put things okay whether i have done this whether i have done this everything will be done don't worry everything will be done you can i mean ask from the other students who have done our uh, done the, uh, the done with the videos in our last batch also right so actually now how we are going to do this what is our plan what is our plan now for each lesson each lesson what i'm going to do is i will be doing giving you a tute i will be giving you a tute so tute for all lessons tute for each lesson let's say each lesson so for the small lesson the tube will be smaller so the big lesson still will be bigger and videos videos will be available for each lesson videos will be available but the length of the videos the number of parts for one lesson can be differ based on the subject content now you know for which lessons i will be having more videos those are the standard costing the process costing the variance analysis budgeting short term decision making long term decision making definitely you can expect more videos from me for these lessons and for other lesson the comparably i mean if you compare with the uh, the other videos the number of the length of the video will be shorter or the parts maybe for one lesson you will be having four to five parts of the video so video part 1 part 2 part 3 likewise one video will be maximum for 50 or one hour and i have to tell you this if you want to watch a video of one hour definitely how to allocate two hours of your time the reason i am telling in your physical class the lecturer is giving you a time to write but here i am not going to give you a time you have to post the video and you have to write down this will be more effective for you because if you if you are not well if you think i ah, you i cannot do now this so you can close and start whenever you need so in the physical class the examiner is asking you to okay do the questions after that examiner is doing but here i am not going to do that i will be giving you the questions and you have to do first then after that you have to watch the video so in this case definitely if it is 10 hours you have to spend 20 hours if it is 20 hours you have to spend 40 hours it's like that so after that videos mcqs will be available for each lesson each lesson namai for all lessons you will be having mcq the reason why we are having a mcq exam 
OTQ exam, but MCQ will be 40 or 45 out of 50. So definitely you have to do this from yourself and understand the concept. So when you do in the system, you can select the answers and you can see how many marks you got and the incorrect answers also. So in the MCQ, when you do for each lesson, now for the big lessons, as for the other videos, I will be putting more MCQs for some lesson 40 or 50 MCQs will be added for some lesson it can be 100 I don't know so after that you will be having after doing all these for each lesson I will be first of all I will be doing the pilot paper pilot paper so there this already issued by the CSL but make sure the pilot paper is not up to the examination level okay examination paper can be difficult than this so don't uh, follow don't think that pilot paper will be I mean the complexity will be same why you have why we are giving a pilot paper you have to understand the structure of the paper how they are asking so not the complexity the complexity can be changed from exam to exam so after that we will be doing mock exams so mock exams means exactly similar structure for the pilot paper you will be having around 50 questions maybe OTQs or MCQs so maybe I'm planning to do three to four MCQs so after we are done with this let's say you will be done around 2000 to 3000 marks MCQs you will be done with 3000 marks MCQs before doing the examination enough enough no why you have to get 100 marks even not 100 marks 50 marks at the examination you are practicing 3000 or 2000 around this 2000 to 3000 marks before going for the examination and if you if that is incorrect in some of the marks are incorrect you can try again why because in the system you can do that again and again so then you will be get ready for the examination now if you have any question what you can do definitely you can join to our whatsapp group whatsapp group so if, in, if it is in a physical class you may have to wait till the weekend to ask this question from the lecturer but in the whatsapp group you can ask anything from the subject matter i will answer whenever i am free right so this is how our plan for the examination so I am going to finish up, finish up all these at least before one month so for this batch we uh, finish before one month even after getting the study facts the curriculum and pilot paper uh, we had a delay from the institute since this is first time but for this batch so this can be July or September if the July examination is cancelled it will be for September so this is our action plan and I hope you all will follow everything what I'm telling. These are not that much hard. I'm not, I'm not asking you to allocate three to four hours every day. Maybe you can allocate 30 minutes per day. Maybe you can allocate four hours per week, not in a day even. So you can do this, maybe three hours per week. Maybe even if you are a good student, the brightest student, even the last two weeks is enough. But I'm not guiding you like that because then everyone will wait till the last two weeks and do I'm, why I'm telling because you can watch all the videos no? even before one week you can watch everything and understand again so please go through the way I'm asking you to do and after that I can guarantee that you will pass the examination if you only follow this okay if you are not following maybe there is one percent two percent unlucky chance that you will be getting failed but 99% maybe even I can say 100% if you if you go through the guidance if you go through all the videos if you do all these MCQs if you refer the materials definitely you can get through the examination so hope you all will follow these lessons and will be in touch with me so within three to five months I can hear that you all have pass BLC management accounting examination so I hope you all are staying safe and be safe all the best study well
Right. Thank you.